In this video, I will explain how to solve a transportation problem using the Excel solver. So let's consider the following scenario. We have a transportation problem where we have three factories that produce some good, and we have four cities that have a demand for that good. Now, within the cells of this table, I've shown the unit shipping cost. So for example, it costs $8 to ship one of these goods from factory one to city one. Now for this particular example, the total demand is 125 and the total supply is also 125. So this is known as a balanced transportation problem. So to solve this problem in Excel, here's what we're going to do. Copy this entire table, so control C, and then a couple rows down, just go ahead and paste the entire table, so control V. Now what we're going to do is delete all of the values in the table. Now in this first supply row right here, type equals sum parentheses, the sum of these four cells in front of it. So just the sum of these row values, and then hit enter. Then you can click the cell and drag down to the remaining cells. Then in the first demand column right here, we'll type equals sum, and we'll take up the, the sum of the cells above it in the column, hit enter. And then you can click and drag that formula to the remaining demand rows. Now, what we're going to do outside of the table is we're going to type an equal sign, hit enter, equal, enter, equal, enter. And we're going to write the values from the original supply constraints. So we'll type 35 in this cell, then 50, then 40. Now we're using an equal sign because this is a balanced transportation problem. So the values that we end up finding right here, we want them to be exactly equal to these constraints. And then we'll repeat the process with the demand values. So we'll type equal, enter, equal, enter, equal, enter, equals, enter. And we'll just, for these values, we'll copy these values right here for the demand. So we'll say 45, 20, 30, and 30. Then lastly, we need to make a cell called objective. So remember, we're trying to minimize the shipping cost. So for this cell, we're going to type the formula equals sum product, and we'll select all of the cells inside the table for the first table, comma, all of the cells inside the table for the second table. And then we'll close our parentheses and hit enter. Now right now the objective will show as zero because these values are all empty, but that's okay. So the last step to solve this problem using the Excel solver is click the data tab along the top ribbon. Then within the analyze group, click the solver button. Now if you don't see the solver button, that means you need to install it, which is very easy to do. And I've listed the exact steps that you can take in the description of this video to install it. So click solver. Now in the new window that appears, we have set objective. So the objective is this cell right here that we named objective. So we'll click that cell and we're trying to minimize that value. So we'll select min, then click by changing variable cells. Now, once this is selected, you can go ahead and select all of the cells within this second table. So in that case, it's the range from B9 to E11. Then under subject to constraints, click add. Now the first constraint that we're going to specify are the supply constraints. So go ahead and click these zero values in the supply column. For the symbol, we will choose equals, and the constraint, these cells will be these values that we listed right here. Then click add. Then under the next cell reference, we're going to choose the demand zero values. Then for the symbol, click equals. And for the constraint range, we're going to choose this range that we specified right here for the demand values. Then click okay. Now make sure that make unconstrained variables non-negative is checked, and for the solving method we will choose simplex LP. Then click solve. Now the optimal solution will automatically be populated in this second table. If you'd like you can click answer if you want to generate an answer report that actually shows these values, or sensitivity analysis, or limits analysis, but for this example, I'll just leave all of these unselected. So I'll click OK. So the optimal solution to this transportation problem has a total shipping cost of $1,020. And we can see within this table exactly how many goods will be shipped from each factory to each city. So for example, in the optimal solution, 45 goods will be shipped from factory two to city one. 10 goods will be shipped from factory one to city two, 25 goods will be shipped from factory one to city three and so on. Now, the way that this total shipping cost is actually calculated is it's simply taking the number of goods, so 45 for example, and multiplying it by the unit shipping cost in the first table. So for example, 45 times nine, then we add 10 times six plus 10 times nine plus 25 times 10 plus five times 13 
plus 30 times 5. And that turns out to be $1,020. So that is the optimal solution for this particular transportation problem.